All you need are these three ingredients to make a delicious, refreshing dessert. Drain 500 grams of canned peaches into a strainer. Give it a shake to get rid of all of that syrup. Transfer your peaches into a small food processor. Blitz until you have a smooth puree. It should look like this. If you haven't got a food processor, you could do this in a blender or with a hand mixer as well. Alternatively, you can really finely chop the peaches with a knife. It won't be quite as smooth and you'll have chunks of peaches in your dessert, but it'll be just as delicious. Strain your puree and use a spatula to help remove some of the more liquid parts. But don't throw away the bit that falls into the bowl. We're going to be using that later. And set that aside. Into a bowl, pour one can, about 400 milliliters of sweetened condensed milk. To this, add your peach puree and stir until it's completely combined. And pop it to the side. The measurements are perfectly exact in this recipe. If you have a few extra peaches, a little extra condensed milk, that's okay. In a large bowl, pour 500 milliliters, just over two cups of cold double or heavy cream. Cold is important because it helps it whisk up. Start whisking until you have medium to firm peaks. You can use electric beaters for this if you'd like. It should look like this. Add about a quarter of your whipped cream to your peach puree mix. Whisk that together. This will help lighten up the sweetened condensed milk and peach puree mixture, which helps it fold more easily into the whipped cream. Pour your sweetened condensed milk mixture over top of the remaining whipped cream. Gently start to fold it together. Once the whipped cream is mostly dispersed, you can switch back to a whisk to combine in those last little bits of whipped cream. Pour the mixture into a medium-sized container. Now for that remaining puree that we saved earlier. Drizzle that all over the top of your whipped cream mixture. Then using a skewer or a cocktail stick, start swirling it in. You can be as creative as you like, swirling in as much or as little as you want. Cover with cling film or a lid and pop in the freezer for a minimum of five hours or until it's completely set. All that's left to do is scoop yourself up a serving. It's great on its own with a few additional canned peaches or even on top of a pie. You can make this dish your own by adding in even more flavors. With the peaches, a few drops of almond extract is delicious. And why not stir in some slivered almonds or some candied pecans? It adds a nice crunch to this creamy dessert. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe because I come out with a new recipe every week. And this one goes great with shortbread biscuits. Check out my recipe here. See you next time.